This video is about one of the most valuable castles in Slovakia, Castle Ukrovets. Stay tuned. Hi, today I'm going to show you Ukrovets Hrad, situated in the small town of Ukrovske Podhradje, near the town of Trenčin in Slovakia. It is situated in the mountains, so you need to take a nice walk for the forest. I was there twice with my son. First it was at spring, and during the epidemic we went there, to the castle. And there was no one there, but the castle itself was closed. And we went there again in the summer and there was a lot of people and it was opened, but we never regret returning, it was really great. So without leaves there is quite a view, you can see much farther. I placed on the video some marks which indicates where we are on our way and we're going up to the mountains to this castle. So, again it is spring, so there are no foliage, but still the view is really great. And from here we already can see the castle, it is up there on the mountain top. The road is not very steep, but it is quite long, so be prepared for a long walk. And we are about to get to the castle. A couple more turns. Yep, it is there. So, we are getting very close. And we even tried to use drone there, but unfortunately as soon as it get up it lost connection to satellites and uh, the wind was very strong, so I had to pull it back. So it is the castle of 13th century and it avoided all major events, I mean historical events. It avoided Osman invasion, it avoided rebellion of Rakotsi, and it was, I think, aside from any major events. So it is quite preserved. It was used as a palace or maybe home of family Zai from Hrvatia. Sigismund uh, presented this castle to the Zai family. And it is like was abandoned in 18th century, so it's ruined by itself. Some reconstruction work are going there, but I love this castle, it's really, really great, one of the best, I think.
And yeah, uh, this time it was closed due to this epidemic. So we decided to go back to take some more view to the valley. But this summer it was open, so let's take a look what's inside. You see this second inner yard and the main buildings. Roma's favorites, such dark premises, underground one. Actually, there is nothing to see there, but Roma likes this. Okay, let's go up. And you see people there. Quite a lot, actually. Okay, let's go up to this, let's see, tower. It's actually some old building. But I have a feeling that it was a church. It is quite high as you can see. And probably we are at the chorus. But I'm not sure. Looks like. Then we go even higher. Roma found some small window. A little bit of view to the forest. And you can see a chandelier there. They put candles on it and put the ceiling. And this part I love the most. It's really great. So we see this column and the window and view to the valley, it's really, really great. We see this bridge. Okay, we're going outside. Yeah, that's due to the castle. I mean, the inner part of it. The valley is green now, as you can see. It looks much better. And this building.
and the view to there. Ready? And we decided to go up. Again, it's some kind of tower ruined. With such a view at top. Yeah, we're going up. I think it was just like the tower, it's almost ruined. And they made uh, these letters there, just to show how it was, maybe. But looks really, really nice. So, back to my rating. Preservation. Well, it is 3 out of 5, because it is ruins. The way. The way is quite long and to the mountain, so I'd say it's 3 out of 5. Again. And the crowd. Again, when there is no epidemic, it is quite crowdy, I'd say. So it's 3 out of 5 as well. I would say it is solid free, but guys, I really love it. So I would say I add one castle just for my personal impression. It is a really great castle. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Like it if you do. Subscribe if you don't want to miss more. Thank you very much. Bye bye.